Imagine a future where nations like Japan or Germany are led by individuals born in countries such as Niger or Afghanistan. What may have once seemed impossible is becoming a reality. Immigrants are rising to leadership positions in developed nations, bringing with them fresh perspectives shaped by their experiences in the global south. Leaders like Rishi Sunak, the Indian origin former Prime Minister of the UK, and Hamza Yousaf, the Pakistani origin former First Minister of Scotland, are just the beginning of this demographic shift. These leaders represent a new chapter in global politics, where individuals from former colonies now shape the destiny of their former colonizers. Countries across Europe, North America, and East Asia are grappling with the stark reality their populations are aging. Nations like Japan, Germany, and Italy have some of the highest median ages in the world, hovering around 48 years. This has created an urgent need for labor, healthcare, and leadership. Meanwhile, nations in Africa and South Asia, with median ages well below 20 years, stand in stark contrast. Countries like Niger and Pakistan have a youthful population, ready to seize the opportunities of the future. These young populations are poised to become the global workforce and leadership of tomorrow, with the right investments in education, healthcare, and job creation. These regions could witness unprecedented economic growth. And as the first world struggles with an aging population, the third world offers a demographic solution. Immigration is already reshaping the political and cultural landscape of the first world. Leaders like Sadiq Khan, the son of Pakistani immigrants and the mayor of London, and Ahmed Abadalib, the Moroccan-born mayor of Rotterdam, exemplify this shift. These leaders from the global south bring a unique perspective to pressing global issues such as climate change, migration, and economic inequality. Their experiences offer fresh insights, and their rise marks the beginning of a new world order. As the first world grays and the third world remains youthful, we are on the cusp of a dramatic leadership shift. The leaders of tomorrow may not come from traditional power centers but from regions that were once overlooked. This promise is a more inclusive, equitable world order one shaped by voices from the global south. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to Kasim Koso's YouTube channel for more thought-provoking insights into global politics and current events. See you in the next video.